As a pet parent, it is not unusual to notice lumps or bumps showing up on your furry family member from time to time. A lot of them look alike. So how do you know when you should contact your vet? Joining me live is Dr. James Spicer, veterinarian at Indy Vet. Dr. Spicer, good morning. Good to see good you. Morning, Welcome Daniel. to the studio. You? Doing well. Doing well. Good, Thank awesome. you. So a lot of pets out there, you know, depending on age, have suspicious things on their bodies. How do you know which is which? Well, You're you going to give me a quiz. You have a pet, right? You have a cat. Uh, we have a cat, yes. Awesome. So here's what you want to do. Every month, you should feel your cat, head, neck, thorax, down each limb, abdomen, even down the tail, and check to see whether you can feel any lumps or bumps. If you do, make a note of it. Okay. And check every week. And then see whether or not it's getting bigger, whether or not it's changing color. Right. Um, whether or not it's changing shape or whether it maybe is becoming sensitive. And if that's the case, then by all means you should have that checked out. But you know, honestly, even masses that look relatively benign can be quite dangerous. Right. And others that look really kind of gnarly. Well, sometimes the lump is under the skin and uh, 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 out of the skin. So. Exactly. So I actually we have a little quiz here. Let's let's see if you could guess All right. which one of these things are dangerous and which aren't. Let's take a look at the first one here. We've got a few images on the screen that we want to show you. Um, and the appearance doesn't necessarily tell you whether it's cancerous or benign. So let's see here. There you go. What um, do you think? Dangerous or no? I'm going to say that may be benign. Actually, this is a mast cell tumor and that is a very dangerous tumor. Oh. Look how look how benign that appears right but that is something you absolutely would want to have taken off as soon as possible let's go to the next one what about uh, that one i might want to say this could be cancerous yeah that is a melanoma and you know melanomas have different um personalities basing on based on where they reside gotcha. on the lip right here that is a dangerous mass we definitely would want and to get it could that possibly be uncomfortable of. for a dog or a cat's trying to eat exactly like they can get excoriated and bleed let's go to the next one uh, uh benign actually doesn't that look a lot like the mass the, the cell first tumor one, yes. yeah but this is a benign that's a basal cell tumor there and that particular tumor is not um a malignant uh, tumor, although is it like a cyst? No, it's not like a cyst. It is actually a a an actual tumor. We see this more on young dogs, right? But that one should probably still be removed just because they can grow. But it's not a malignancy. Let's Whoop, go to, let's the, go next to the next one. one. What about that? Mm. That's on the ear. That's on the ear. I'm going to say that could be cancerous. Yeah, that's a squamous cell carcinoma. Again, that's one that is definitely one we would want to take care of and get off of there. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to go with cancerous as well. That's a wart. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's not a really dangerous uh, tumor, but obviously we could remove that remove that and yeah. it would be uh, a lot easier for the pet and then the pet will be able to eat as well yeah absolutely yeah. let's do we have one more all right that's, that's it. it so okay. awesome you did pretty good so, well i see so here's the situation if your pet owner and you're touching your pet and you feel something strange always contact the vet Take a picture, send it in, just get, you know, your take on what this is because trying to guess yourself if you're not a veterinarian, you know, could could lead down the Absolutely, road. Absolutely, yeah. because your veterinarian will look at it. They can take a needle aspirate of it right. and see what it is. If it's really big and growing fast, they may want to just do an excisional biopsy. Yeah. Uh, but there's so many things we can do in veterinary medicine for different types of cancers now that we couldn't even do five years ago. This is a very uh, growing segment in veterinary medicine. We even have two oncologists now at IndyVet because there's so much popularity in this particular segment of veterinary medicine. All right, Dr. Spicer, good to have you in studio with us this morning. Take care, and if for a list of services available at IndyVet Emergency and Specialty Hospital, just head to our website, fox59.com links for more information.